beast, didn't they? Chuff to bits. The smallest little thorn back there. I'm just concentrate on not leaving the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boot. Called him mullet. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same same all the time. We want something different, a good old show. Hello and welcome to the channel. Back on Chesil Beach. We're down at the bay end at the moment. So myself and Dean have come down to try and replicate our little cod excursion last week. I'm also after a trigger. So I'm fishing two rods at the moment with earth rigs, size four hooks. Um, my earth leader is, is about four, four and a half foot long. And I'm fishing about three quarters of an inch of ragworm with little beads, just as stoppers, just to stop it blowing up the line. Because when you snip ragworm, it has a tendency to go straight up the line. So I'm not showing that at the moment. If it's successful, we'll come back and visit that. But what I am doing is prepping my first cod bait that's going out. Now then, here's a couple of things. I fine tuned my rig compared to what happened last week. So I'm still fishing a five foot pulley, one wingspan, um, with the Gemini, power pulley, uh, shrink, uh, not shrink tubing, just uh, silicon tubing instead of beads as the stopper. It's more of a cushion than a, than a, than a bead. We're using uh, clip-on snoods and on the end of my hook snood, I'm using the Varavas BMX 30 and the Varavas Big Mouth Pennell. And the panel has actually got a kink to it. You see that? On the end of the shank. So when it goes into panel and you twizzle it around the line, it sits really nice. So it's a 3-0 and a 2-0, specifically for what we're up to today. So I'm gonna load up, and I made a mistake last week, and I've been picked up for it. I said they were Welsh black lug. They weren't Welsh black lug at all. They were Essex. Black lug. No, that's wrong. <laughs> that's even wrong. <laughs> the Kent black lug. <laughs> He's going to go and do his nut in a minute. So I even got that wrong. The Kent black lug. And I got six wraps. Six wraps, little bits of squid. I've got ragworm, mackerel, blow lug. Um, and we're all set. But the main, the main thing today is going to be these bad boys. Black lug. What we're going to do now is going to move the camera because I forgot to show some things last week. I've watched my own video back and there's bits missing out of it. I know, I can't help it. Um, just move my weight to one side. Um, slapping them down. Slapping them down on a hard surface firms them up. And Dean reminded me, he said, well, you didn't do that. You didn't show that. And that's because I forgot all about it. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to show it. <laughs> and then we'll hook up, we'll bait up, and we'll get it out and see if we can do something. Now I'm toying with the size of these, whether they go two or one. Um, these are quite nice size. Good stuff, good bait. Let's shift the camera and I'll show you the table. Okay, so here we are. One black lug, two black lugs, and a little piece of squid. That's what we've got. So the first thing you need to do is to get them to proper stiffen up. All the sandy bit away from the bottom. And that's what we're left with. So, with our hook, I'm not convinced it makes any difference which way these go, but we're gonna go with this way first. I'm going to spin the worm around the other way and put the other one on in the other direction. That means it cannot be picked off. I'll get this one on. I'm going to towel first. It seems like the right thing to do. I'm sure if it's wrong, someone in the comments is going to let me know. Um, just dress that down at the end. It's not the best bit of squid this, but it's better than no squid. I'm 
just leave a little tag down at the end. So that's what we've got at the moment. And then the next job is just to compress that down a little bit. One, two, three, and then hook that in to the end and out the side. Dress it all out. And that is the bait that's going to go out. We'll clip on our weight and that is a Gemini Solo Splashdown grip weight, six ounce, colour coded red. Make sure all the wires are clipped down. Check the operation of the blade just to make sure that it hasn't, because it has been used before, it's not the first time this has been used. And we clip in. There is our pulley. Might as well slide that up. And with the weight, we might as well clip in as well. Slide the blade up, lay the hook across, slide the blade down, it's now captive. Dress it all up. That's what's gonna be cast out. Sorry if I'm squinting, but that sun is really bright. I'm not complaining. Um, that's what's going out. And that's what's clipping on. So that piece now will clip on to my Termalink on the end of my shock leader. Um, and I think it's about time I got myself out a big bait. <laughs> Just looking at that, that doesn't look like that's dressing correctly. Oh yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Right, I'm gonna get this out. This is my first big bait of the night going out. So as you can see from the background, we're in the bay end of Chesil Beach. Um, trying to look. Evening sun, a little bit of wind. It's forecast five to eight. It's definitely more than eight, but it's not like hurricane force winds or anything like that. I've set the drone up, so we'll have a run along the beach so you can see where, what it looks like and get a view from, from up there. We're all prepped for nighttime fishing, really. Um, what's different? So we've got the drone with us today. We're fishing the two rods, the six and baits, the Pen Fathom uh, casting specials, tapered shock leader, and the mainstay for tonight's fishing is the five foot pulley. Five foot pulley with the very vast 3 0 and 2 0 hooks. Um, I fancy a bit of fluff chucking in a minute, so I am going to put a set of feathers on. When I bring the right hand rod in, the left hand rod's baited for cod, black lug squid. The right hand rod still fishing a um, earth rig, small hooks, in the vain hope of a trigger. I'd love to catch a trigger fish. I'd, I'm still trying for one this year. And yeah, and then we'll put a set of feathers on, have a bit of fluff chuck in, see if we can get some fresh mackerel. Fresh mackerel bait would be amazing. Just keeping an eye on my rods there. There are the odd occasional raft of weed going past. And we have seen bait fish working, but casting feathers to them, nothing's been happening. So that's the plan. That's what we're set up for. A little bit of drone footage for a change. <laughs> Loving it. You get to see a different angle, different perspective. Um, but yeah. See what we can winkle out tonight, eh? The light's starting to fail. The camera doesn't show it because it's compensating. We've just baited up with pulley rigs, and I say we, Ding's next door to me. Um, we've baited up with pulley rigs, black lug, I'm tipped with squid, Dean's tipped with the secret bait, and on his first proper baited cast out ready for him, he's just pulled in a codlin. A chisel codlin. <laughs> I'm just looking across the camera, because I can see he's unhooking it at the moment. Yeah, chisel codlin. Absolute stunner. So, lights are going out, and as we always say, if they want to play, now's the time. <laughs> yeah, so we're fishing in the bay. Start, this is the start of the session. So what we was doing earlier on, bit of fluff chucking, bit of oofing. I'll have it here, bud. I'll show it on the camera, just show size. I'll show it its size, so I know it's going back. Not my fish, I'm not going to steal it, someone else caught it, but I'm going to show you anyway. That's the size, 
and that is a pound. We want these bigger brothers and sisters, but that shows what's here. I'm going to get it back in, give it a chance of going. What a stunning start. Yeah, so it's just a case of keeping an eye out now. Soon be head torch time. It's almost head torch time now, really. Start rigging some extra lighting for the for all the bits and pieces. I'm going to bring my tripod closer in. We were spaced apart, but we're good. Well, I'm going to bring it in closer now. Um, yeah, see what happens. Just had a couple of knocks. I was just prepping another rig. And this one's gone off a couple of times. You see the rod's not next to it, it's not fishing. I was just prepping a rig for it. And then this one went off. There we go, there's something having a play there. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's have a look, see. This one's right out at distance though. There's a fair bit of weed kicking around at the moment as well. Um, if it is, it's small. Trouble is, with the tides out at the moment, there's quite a lot of undertow. I'm going to have to walk forward with this one. There's a bit of kickback, a bit of head knock. Might be a small codlin. Just the way it's going. Oh, there's a lot of undertow here. It's really pulling back in. What have we got? First one of the evening. reasonable. It went well, gave a good account of itself. Beautiful looking fish. Let's get you unhooked mate. Oh you've taken that deep haven't you? Let's see if we can get this out. There we go, there we go. A little bit of light on. <laughs> she's bright. Oh, she's bright. She's pretty. There we go. So the first one I showed wasn't mine. It was Dean's. But this one most definitely is. Same sort of stamp. It's a pretty little fish. I'm trying to give you a good show, but Ooh, careful. Give you a good show. So you can see it. And there we have it. One chisel codlin, summer codlin. What an absolute star. Love them. Right, I'm gonna get this one back while it's still frisky. Um, yeah, that just come back looking like that. A right old mess. I've just picked this rod up. And this one is, or was, out at more distance. And it feels like it's got a bit of weight to it. This is two black lug tipped with squid, just as a full stop, just as a stopper. Just looking at my lines here, I don't know if I've crossed my lines. But there's a bit of a thump to this. What have we got? We've got a strap. <laughs> oh dear. All oh, that lovely black lug, and we got a strap. <laughs> it's not exactly target species. One lively strap. Gonna get him unhooked, and then take him down to the water's edge to do this. 
just going to use this little mini T-bar, get him off. He's giving that a right old twizzle up, isn't he? Right, I'm going to get him released and get him back. Just check my other rod, make sure I'm not slack line. That's the benefit of being able to sort of T-bar him off at the side, but look at the state of the rig. That's the sort of mess they make. Oh, keep an eye on the other one. Yeah, there's... We've run through low water, we're on the flood again, and I thought the straps were gone, but clearly not. And out of a lovely presented lugworm and squid bait, that is all that's left. <laughs> Made a right mess of it. But I'm using that Asso ultra cast as a hook snoop believe it or not but it's only 60 pound it's not bad it stands up well it hasn't kinked twisted spider crabs have had a go at it um it's pretty tough to be honest i think i think it fares better than amnesia i've got that in 60 pound and my rig body's at 80 pounds so i've still got the discrimination that will go before that um but yeah Pretty tough. I had no problems with it yet. Just need another another codling, I think. Dean just had another one about half an hour or so ago. Um, quite a nice one. When he gutted it, because it was a keeper, um, it was full of edible crab. And I think who just pulled another one in? Is that another codling? Yeah. <laughs> He's hauling. How many is that now? Four, isn't it? I won't give you five, definitely four. <laughs> I've had one. <laughs> I need to fish harder. Try harder. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get this baited up. So, we've called last cast. So, both, both fresh baited and put out. Um, I've give it the willy wing zing zing try to get out as far as I can um, just change my hand position put everything into it and if I fluff the last cast of the last reel then it was easy enough to pack away but I'll give it a go and it's gone a fair ways out um, yeah so they're both pulley rigs uh, 3020 panel uh, they're the Varivas uh, BMX and the BMX and the big mouth panel Big mouth extra, big mouth panel. Um, loaded up with two black lug, tip with squid. Same routine, it does work because I caught one earlier. Caught a couple last weekend. Dean's had four tonight. Um, they've all been pretty small. He's got one, he had one good one actually out, out of the four. Um, but mine was pretty small as well. But yeah, it's all good stuff. So last cast, if anyone wants to play, now's the time. Give it half hour and then I'll pop back and see you. Regardless, hope it's not another pout or a strap. We've had loads of pout and strap tonight. Pouting and straps. Some of the straps have been tiny, like ridiculously tiny, like a pencil. Um, yeah, you're used to small straps, but that big is as big as a decent sized ragworm, to be honest. Um, yeah, see how it goes. Bit of tidal movement, early hours of the morning. It's got a bit chilly now. Um, temperature has dropped over the last couple of days. But there's been a lot of coddling coming out along the beach this last three weeks. Certainly seen all the reports. We caught a few. Um, I've had three now, which considering we're targeting, I'm, I'm really pleased with that, really pleased. Um, but yeah, <laughs> one more, <laughs> we always want one more. Big donkey double, <laughs> that's what we're going to happen. That is the rods packed away now, and true to form, let's <laughs> have a look at him. <laughs> the tiniest, look, the tiniest little strap hill. Um, he's going back. So yeah, so gears away. Only one for me this evening, four for Dean. 
a smattering of pelting, a load of little straps. And when I say little straps, they are tiny. That's like 30 centimeters, if that. Um, but thoroughly enjoyable. Looks like we're absolutely the last ones on the beach. There is not another head torch as far as the eye can see. There are no lights down the beach. Pretty much says something, doesn't it? We've probably fished on too long. Um, but yeah, absolutely thrilled to bits with the drone footage. I checked back on the screen earlier and had a quick look. Hopefully that's going to come out good on the, on the film itself. And we'll see a bit more of that because I've refreshed that, renewed that, upgraded it a little bit. Um, a few more batteries, all that kind of stuff. Hopefully a little bit more from some of the places we go to. All right, but he's getting a bit fidgety now. Um, very lightly holding him and he's not going mental. You squeeze them, they go chicken oriental straight away. Um, so I've got to pack up. I'm going to shoot off. So all that leaves for me to say is take care, tight lines, happy fishing. From me, from here, for now, it's goodbye. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.